Hey guys, Nate Sanders here. Welcome to 123 Slaughter Me Street 2. We had some recent budget cuts and well, you're stuck with me. So as you can see, at the top of the screen, it says what phase of the level you're in. Pre-game. This is a good time to explore your surroundings. Maybe later on, plan a good exit strategy. The controls are your standard first person PC game. Use W, A, S, and D to move around. Space will crouch and make it harder to be spotted. Holding shift will allow you to sprint. You know, the basics. We did give you a flashlight again, and it's not broken. I promise. Left click to use your flashlight. You may notice some odd blue and green lights appear when your flashlight is on. The blue spots are hiding spots and the green spots are safe spots. You cannot use a hiding spot or safe spot until pregame is over. Once pregame ends, in any second now, the phase will change to hide. During hide, you must navigate around the house and, well, start hiding. To hide, enter a hiding spot and hold space. If the hiding spot is enclosed, you will need to close the hiding spot first Thank you. 
Now that you are hiding, you should see two bars in the upper right of the screen. A blue one and a green one. The blue bar is the juice that you are draining from a hiding spot. The green bar is your hide meter. Once you fill the green bar all the way up, the phase changes to seek. Also worth mentioning, once the blue bar is gone, the hiding spot no longer works. However, it does turn into a safe spot. Spots that you did not turn into safe spots during hide disappear during seek. They will not be, well, safe. Great, you are now officially seeking. Do you see a bright line on the ground? Give it a few seconds. Okay, yeah, go ahead and follow that line. But do this in a timely manner because it doesn't last forever. Once the line disappears, you will have to seek without guidance. Awesome, you found the objective. Now as you can see, you are in the final phase, exit. Simply return to the front door and you are all done. Also, I totally forgot to mention, the eye icon in the lower right hand corner, this will be an open white eye when you're out in the open. It will be a closed white eye when you are out of plain sight. And it will turn red if something sees you. To make it turn white again, get into a safe zone and hold space. In closed safe zones, don't require holding space to be safe, but you do have to make sure they are, well, enclosed. Alright, that pretty much wraps it up. Get to the exit. Good luck!
those puppets from hell are back. But this time, you're ready. With unlockables and secrets, you'll find your way out of this haunted hell yet. Or will you? One, two, three, Slaughter Me Street Retro from Impulse Game Studios with original music from EA Games. Available now.
my breath, you stole this shape.
Hello, anybody home? <laughs> Holy shit! What happened? Oh, what? How is it down? Christ compels me to get the heck out of here.
Thank you. 